good morning guys welcome back to my channel my name is becca today we are going to be tackling a very simple and quick speed clean we had so much going on this day and i honestly just threw dinner together i'm gonna prep dinner really quick this is one of my go-to meals it's ready in like 15 or 20 minutes max and then i'm gonna go ahead and quickly reset the kitchen nothing spectacular sometimes when you are doing a reset it's literally just a 15 or 20 minute timer <laughs> and you just kind of speed clean around the house you pick up what you can see and put it somewhere where it needs to go or just kind of clean up in one area that you know you can tackle in that time and then save the rest for tomorrow that's what we're doing we had a productive day and dinner was simple which i love so the cleanup was fairly easy don't forget to get something done with me and don't forget to subscribe also if you have not already i have a ton of cleaning motivation i'll go ahead and link that down below i'm gonna watch a few youtube videos while i prep dinner and then we will get into So I'm still watching YouTube videos. I love to watch YouTube videos while I'm doing the dishes or I will put it kind of like in the window seal and then I get lost in the trees watching the birds outside. <laughs> Let me know what you like to do while you clean. Can you clean in silence? I absolutely cannot. I love to clean with music on in the background or I have some sort of show on in the background. It just makes, I feel like it makes it go quicker. I'm gonna wrap up the dishes and then scrub out the sink with some barkeeper's friend desperately needed a good scrubbing and then that will be it for today i will see you guys on sunday again don't forget to subscribe and i hope you know that you're doing amazing
got some pretty fun videos planned for fall and Halloween. I have a porch video coming up, a few DIY videos, and then a Halloween decorate and bake with me. So don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of those videos. I hope that this gave you a little bit of gentle encouragement just to get something done, even if it is that five minute tidy up. I will see you guys in the next one. my channel my name is Becca hopefully you can hear me over my coffee pot just give it a second okay so today is Sunday I didn't film anything this weekend it was my little guy's birthday as you can see we are taking down decor I have a few things that I'm going to recycle if you're new to my channel I have a five and three year old um I like to do like a birthday bin or birthday bucket. So I like to keep things on hand. I have a whole video. I just reorganized our like closet area where I keep all of my stuff, <laughs> like extra birthday party decor. So I'm gonna try to salvage as much as I can, um, like the birthday sign and then this. I got this at Dollar Tree a few years ago. Some of the candles are coming off, but it's really cute. It makes them feel special. So I usually leave that for like at least three or four days. So we are going to save this, the happy birthday sign. And then Dollar Tree has these really cute, like, um, it's almost like a makeshift photo booth and they have like a theme. I ripped it, but I can tape it back together. Um, a construction theme. I found the space theme. I found um, a train theme, a car theme, dinosaurs. I have all of them and I just use these as like hanging decoration. I don't just hang them with streamers because, um, are they called streamers? Yeah, the streamers, they're super cheap and honestly like they're paperweight so it's very thin. So I'm gonna save these if we do like a theme at school or a space day, anything like that or sometimes we just like to decorate. Um, I wanna do laundry and bedding so I need to get that started in the washer. My kids are watching Bluey. <laughs> 
I want to dust the windows and the ceiling fans. They're kind of getting dusty, I can tell, so that needs to be done. I don't know if I'm going to get to all three. I'm kind of like, it's shot in the dark. I want to deep clean the laundry room, just like wipe down the appliances and mop the floor. The floor's pretty gross in there. Clean out the fridge. I did a deep dive in the fridge, I want to say last month. I'm not, I don't have time to do it today, but I just at least want to wipe it out. Fridge is pretty empty. This is the week that we're going to end up going to Costco tomorrow. We have a lot going on today. My husband is working on the deck. So if you hear any noise, he's outside <laughs> cutting up a lot of the joists for the deck. And then finally, he's going to be able to put um, the composite decking on top. So I'm really excited to see that. You guys, I cannot wait for this before and after video, like night and day for the backyard. Clean out the fridge, declutter some of my clothes. I don't know if I'm gonna get to that, but I hope so. And then obviously you need to do the bathrooms. So I did the floors last night. Welcome to my house, I like to chat. I did the floors last night, mopped and swept in here like really well. I just did the hall tree. You guys saw that like a few days ago. I'm not gonna bother with it. We're in and out of the mud today. We're gonna be planting trees. We have two new trees. If I can fit that in this video, I will. If not, you'll probably see it on like Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> um, we just have a lot to do. I have a lot of like little things I want to get done. I don't want to spend the all day cleaning. So I'm going to try to get this in like two hours. If you have anything you need to get done with me, put this on the background on your phone, on your TV, and just go to town with me because I feel like we're going to be cleaning a lot. <laughs> and when I have a lot of like little things that I mentally write down on my brain dump, then I'm just like ready to go. So I'm gonna drink my coffee. Um, I'm eating a cupcake for breakfast because why not? Oh my gosh, I'm awesome. like disoriented. So cheers, let's get started. I'm gonna run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. started one tip I would say is like if you're cleaning sometimes I forget and I'll just like boomerang back and forth to like a hundred different places when I'm like in the kitchen do what needs to get done in the kitchen and move on like room by room it's cleaner and like while it's fresh in your brain you'll get more done Still it feels like I'll pretend keep on driving and driving along the road So our fridge was completely empty. I didn't have too much to clean out in here, as you can see, but I do like to take this opportunity right before we go to the grocery store. Anytime that our fridge is pretty barren like this, I like to definitely wipe out as much as I can. Definitely the bottom drawer, there's always a ton of fruit and vegetable like little crumbs. And so it just takes maybe two or three minutes to wipe out the fridge, nothing too serious, but it definitely helps when I go to deep clean the fridge. So hopefully nothing is super sticky and just like stuck to the bottom of the fridge. So I'm going to do that and then just kind of take note of what we need for our grocery trips. I'll get into a grocery haul later and then now I'm going to work on my son's bathroom.
if you are new to my channel, my name is Becca. I'm a stay-at-home mom to now five and three-year-old and I have two little boys. I feel like nobody talks about when you have a little one turning five. The age gap or age jump from like four to five is just crazy. How curious they are, how much they just grow in that year and it was just like such a bittersweet birthday. It was one of those that nobody talks about your little ones are no longer in the toddler stage so it was definitely just a very emotional weekend and one of those that i will cherish forever just like every other birthday so we went on a ton of family adventures we went to an alpaca farm my kids absolutely love them i of course told my husband that i wanted to bring one home and <laughs> i found out that you actually needed to have three alpacas you can't have just one so we would definitely have to have more land for that um but they were so sweet you guys my boys had the best time it was really sweet we went to museums we had a family party at chuck e cheese does anybody remember chuck e cheese yeah it made me feel so old when we walked in <laughs> but it was really fun so we're just gonna tidy up the house we've been kind of partying the last few days and just having a lot of fun family time i really enjoyed it and my son had a blast so that's what matters i love how when we have just a lot of family time i kind of just let the house go and the chores pile up but it's nothing that a few hours can't fix so if you're hanging in there with me get anything you can done today don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel i would love if you say hello down below i'm actually spraying um fabuloso in the sink down the drain just because i love how it smells in the shower when it's clean and then i'll let it actually sit in the toilet as well I've been recently using the Tylex shower cleaner. I think it's with bleach. I don't quote me on that. I don't remember. I used it in my last video. It's been about two weeks and I do like it. I don't feel like it gets rid of like the hard water stains, but I do think that it helps kind of cut down on any of the buildup. We have really hard water and it's so incredibly hard <laughs> to keep up with the hard water stains. It's just like a never ending battle. So if you have any tips, let me know. I like this product. I don't think it'll be a repurchase for me, but I'm definitely not dissatisfied with it. I think it definitely does its job. so super quick grocery hauls here we do like to frequent multiple stores especially when our fridge you kind of saw we kind of had eaten through everything and we knew we were doing a bunch of different events so we just kind of waited until things slowed down my husband picked up some of the kielbasa he picked up the bacon surprisingly you guys bacon is so expensive right now <laughs> So he found a really big coupon on Ibotta. If you don't use Ibotta, Ibotta you get so much money back. We are running low on beans. We eat beans with like absolutely everything in our house. I of course needed the pumpkin spice creamer. It's not the same, but it definitely tastes pretty good. There was also um, money back on Ibotta for this brand of pasta. 
so i've actually never seen this package i asked my husband i was like what is this it looks really expensive and he's like no it's just a different type i'll typically be the person that buys whatever's on sale we picked up ground beef milk my husband wanted red bulls and on sunday mornings we get some kind of pastry whether that's donuts cinnamon rolls you name it it's one of those morning breakfasts there's a lot going on on sunday and here is our costco haul we picked up salmon absolutely swear by these they are great um these croissant sandwiches for my sons in the morning and then we picked up the turkey breast i love the sandwich meat from costco you get a huge pack and it's so cost effective we picked up a ton of fruit so plum cods eggs bananas cucumbers avocados i love their caesar salads these Caesar salads usually last us an entire week or two. We actually split the salad in half. I swear these salads could feed like maybe six people. So between our family of four, they last for quite a while. We picked up Monterey Jack and mild cheddar cheese. We eat tomatoes with like every meal in our house, a ton of apples. We picked up some grapes and strawberries, raspberries. We had like no fruit in the fridge <laughs> so oranges the fruit typically will last me about two weeks between all of us and the kids i put half of the bread in the freezer already i freeze the bread immediately when we come home <laughs> it lasts us for quite some time um we actually picked up i forget what these are nectarines or peaches i don't know they were super ripe and they were really good so we already had gotten into them some of the rouse pasta sauce um lemonade lemons i love lemon water these tiny little pumpkins, I couldn't say no, they were so cute. We ate half of the pizza while we were putting away the groceries, some paper plates, and then saltine crackers. So now I'm going to get into just wiping down the washer and dryer. This is our mud room and my husband has been doing so much work outside. So it's just caked in dust and dirt and you guys will see later. I just spray Fabuloso on the floor and just go to town kind of scrubbing it because whatever I was doing with the spray mop or hand mopping was not working. You'll see how much grime gets up off of the floor. It was pretty bad. I think it matters what type of mop I try or whatever I use. I think it's just like ingrained in me from my mom and it just kind of old school to hand mop. So I will always love hand mopping. Is it a little tedious? Absolutely. Does it take more time? Yes. This technically isn't the correct way to hand mop, but it worked for today. You can just see all of the dirt and grime that came up. I used paper towels because I expected it to be a little bit muddier. We have a lot of like red clay dirt and it just is so incredibly hard to get out of my microfiber rags so i just used fabuloso and then i decided to scrub it you'll see some like hiding socks back there i didn't know until i was editing this video um so i'm just kind of trying to loosen up the dirt and the grime and then i'll come back with wet paper towels and i do the wet paper towels twice just to go over it once and then look at all that it's gross and then i'll do it again with just super super hot water to get as much off as i can my little spray mop has actually given out so i'm interested in is it the o cedar mop you guys the bucket is just so big i don't have a place to store the bucket and it would sit on the floor collect dust when i'm not using it i don't know i'm undecided either that or the bona spray mop i love having a spray mop especially for like those super quick spills so i'm gonna go ahead and dust the fans i like to do a dry dusting it catches i feel like more dust then versus if you're just spraying a microfiber rag and then collecting dust speaking of dust you'll see all the dust flying on this entertainment center <laughs> it was pretty bad i don't think i've done this for a few weeks so if you're dusting sometimes a dry dusting before you go in with some any sort of cleaner or 
like if you're using Pludge or Windex or whatever you use, try dry dusting first and then go back and clean later. It'll save you so much time. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope that this gave you just a little bit of gentle encouragement to tackle whatever you can around your home one step at a time. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. welcome back to my channel it is monday i'm going to make another pot or another cup of coffee um i have a lot that i kind of want to get done today you guys saw me cleaning yesterday today's just kind of like a little bit of organizing decluttering i have three massive loads of laundry sitting on the sofa i want to fold the laundry before we start homeschool my name is becca if you're new here i'm a stay-at-home mom i have a five and three year old we do homeschool if any of that interests you. Don't forget to subscribe and start laundry and then we will get into homeschool and then I want to declutter my closet, my side. My husband already did his side of the closet. I want to clean out some of our kitchen cabinets, just kind of like rearrange them, go through the junk drawer, see if anything needs to be junked or trashed or what have you, and then um, get a few other little things done around the house, grab something that you need to get done and get it done with me, but first coffee. this laundry sitting on the sofa for what seems like maybe two or three days maybe even longer i am the first one to throw a load in the washer and then i forget about it and it's like okay wait i have to do bedding <laughs> and then the laundry just keeps going so i'm gonna tackle laundry first i honestly tend to save laundry last because it's my least favorite house chore let me know what your least favorite house chore is i figured today if i got it out of the way it would be just one less thing that i have to like look forward to and kind of procrastinate again. So I wanted to make sure it got done, get it out of the way, and then I'll move on.
this morning is a little bit out of schedule for us. It's something that I don't typically do laundry or cleaning right away, but I knew that if I didn't tackle this laundry when I told myself I was ready to do it, probably wouldn't get done until that evening. So I will go ahead and put all this away and then I'll start homeschool with the boys. Again, we do homeschool a five and three year old. We are using the good and the beautiful and a ton of extra manipulatives that I just like to throw in there with my youngest and with my oldest. Sometimes I gauge the day. It depends on if we're doing a super structured lesson or if we're doing something like this where it's more hands-on. Whiteboard books, we kind of just gauge how everybody's feeling for the morning and I love homeschool because we can literally do it at any time of the day. So today was a library day. We live in a pretty small town, so our library is only open two days a week. We definitely try to make it both of those days. My sons absolutely adore the library. There's always so much to do there. And I feel like when the weather gets a little bit cooler, we are in the library so much more. <laughs> I definitely am the one that will pick out as many books as I can just to last us through the week. We like to frequent multiple, but the one close to home is definitely our favorite. So we checked out quite a few books just to kind of break up the day. And it's one of those free activities. Sometimes I do forget about the library, even though it offers so much entertainment. It's a little bit gloomy this day, but it wasn't too bad. So now we're back home. I'm going to switch over yet again another load of laundry. So just a super quick fall kids clothing haul. We like to shop at Kohl's pretty often. I love that store. They literally have home decor, clothes, anything I could need. <laughs> Everybody goes into the store together and oftentimes we all end up going in as a family so like I can shop for everybody and the boys have something to look at with them. They'll go to the toy section or the books or what have you. Um, so my boys each picked out their own sweater and they actually picked out the same. Spider-Man is a big deal right now. So I found um, just a bunch of pants and I like these joggers, this brand. It's the Jumping Beans brand from Kohl's. I don't know if it's exclusive to Kohl's or not, but I've been buying this brand for some years and I actually really love it. All of their clothes last a really long time. So I love the fact that these pants have the reinforced knee. I did actually haul from, I believe, Walmart a few weeks ago a ton of shirts for my kids and between that and Kohl's, my boys are pretty much set besides rain boots for um, fall and winter. Anything that needs to be purchased that'll be heavier, I'm definitely going to wait till around December. So I am the mom that will buy one pair of pants in every color. They have the reinforced knee, a functional drawstring, pockets heaven forbid i buy pants without pockets to hold all of my kids rocks that they find in the yard and then i love that around the ankles they are a little bit tighter like a jogger style so they don't get dragged in the mud and just don't rip so it's super simple haul but definitely something that we needed for the kitchen i had two cabinets that i wanted to just kind of straighten up and make sure everything had a match it was kind of in disarray and i had a ton of lids that didn't match anything so i'm going to straighten that up these are my favorite rice containers number one the rice is super delicious but these containers are amazing and they have these little handles in the back absolutely love them i have so many of them around the house so i'm going to straighten up this cabinet and then move on to the next one i try to figure out who i am not sure what i'm doing here and the days don't work out the way i thought they would and before you there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in Until I met you I was feeling lost But you're the one who can make it go away All you have to do is look at me Sometimes I, I can't breathe But it feels like you're the one who saves me When I try, but don't succeed Yeah, it feels like you're the one who saves me 
Both my Pyrex lids are literally just like splitting in half. We've had them forever, but I don't know why they're falling apart and I've broken quite a few of the glass dishes. So I definitely need to purchase a new set, but it is kind of nice sometimes when you are going through cabinets just to kind of see if anything needs to be decluttered or anything needs to be tossed out, which obviously I need to replace this set. But it's all I have You know we could run to a place where we belong But I need you there with me to go on Sometimes I Okay, so now onto the closet. These two bins sit in the top of mine in my husband's closet. I have some in my boy's closet. We all have them and it's just kind of overflow for seasonal clothing. This dress I've had forever. I purchased it when I was pregnant with my first and I refuse to get rid of it. It's just one of those pieces that will always match and honestly I feel good in it so why get rid of it? So I thought I was going to get rid of quite a bit and now watching this back I'm looking at these blazers like I've pulled these out probably six times in the last like four or five years. I've never worn them. I don't work at nine to five anymore so there's really no need to hang on to them. I should probably declutter those soon. You can see I'm second guessing like every piece but one of my friends on here, Live, Laugh, and Love with Jen, is her um, YouTube handle. Jen is so sweet, but she's always decluttering, and it's just a really good reminder. I watched one of her videos, and I was like, you know what? Even if I declutter one piece, it's better than nothing. So definitely just one of those things that I need to get in the habit of. I was trying on this hat asking my sons if I should keep it. They thought it was funny. So I got rid of a few things, not as much as I anticipated, but anything is better than nothing. So I decided to declutter this bag. I purchased this. My husband and I went to a Dodgers baseball game back in Colorado ages ago. That's the one time I wore this purse. I've never ever used it since. This one I don't grab for anymore. This little pouch purse I don't use anymore and these are some pillowcase covers but our pillows don't fit in there anymore. These sweaters I've had oh my goodness forever in a day and again I don't work in an office anymore so got rid of all of that. Here's an update on the deck if you're following along with our backyard saga. <laughs> we are doing so much back here and my husband wrapped this up this weekend. We are almost at the finish line with this project. We still need to put a little bit more rock, some landscaping, things like that, but it was really fun to just kind of see it come together. You guys, I had this bright idea to put some bird feeders that I found on clearance for like $2 at Dollar General and I wanted to put them out. We have so many birds just eating our fruit trees right now, <laughs> so I thought I'll put a bird feeder or a few on the other side of our garden we have a ton of fruit trees and 
it just would not go in the ground i was getting so many rocks or dead tree stumps i don't know what was in the soil we have really hard rocky soil and my husband was working so i'm extremely stubborn and impatient i could not get this in the ground i used a mallet i used a rock i used my kid's hammer <laughs> Uh, you name it, I tried. I even tried pouring water. It just was literally a nightmare, but I was determined to get it in the ground, whether it was crooked or not. So I took a break. These are the trees that we just planted. We planted a really big sycamore, and then I think it's... Oh my goodness, I always forget the name. I'll put it on the screen. But my idea is to have some raised garden beds back here. Again, there's a blackberry bush. They never cease to amaze me. They pop up even if you rip it out, there's like five more that come along. So there's just kind of an overview. We have all of this that we have to plan. We have no idea what we're doing with that dead space yet. Here my husband is teaching me. I wanted to kind of be a part of putting the deck together. So we ended up going with the Trex decking, which is a very seamless look. It kind of just snaps together like a, I would prefer it to like the vinyl plank flooring that you kind of just snap together or notch together i'm not sure how i explain it but there you don't see the screws and i liked that look it's something that we don't have to maintain i don't have to come out here and pressure wash it restain it every few years i wanted minimal maintenance and so did my husband so a little bit of an investment but in the long run it's definitely going to pay off and i think it's going to look beautiful with the gazebo so i did one piece of the decking it was really fun but honestly my husband had a lot more patience than i did so this is almost finished and once we get the gazebo up i will share kind of like a time lapse of everything in the backyard and i think it'll be really fun to look back and kind of see how the backyard has evolved we have so many ideas my husband and i talk about how many ideas and plans that we have for the backyard but you guys it's just ever evolving and it's just getting to that time of year where we are trying to get all of these projects wrapped up and Every time we start one project, we're like, hey, maybe we should do this while we're doing that. So anyways, back to this bird feeder. I loved this. Um, I think it's a rooster. I don't know. It's a wind thing. I'm not sure the name of it, but I thought it was cute and it just turned into this entire project. So funny story is when we put these bird feeders out, the deer found the bird feeders. I thought they were hanging high enough and I'll insert a picture, but they were in the backyard and then I moved this to the front yard. <laughs> They came to the front yard it just kind of turned into a nightmare so i had to move them but it was fun while it lasted the birds enjoyed it now the bird feeder is just holding a bunch of wind chimes i need to find a taller bird feeder if you have any suggestions let me know my kids are watching Muppet babies so you're gonna hear them laughing it's the cutest show this tiny little 10 minute project it turned into like an hour ordeal it was in the ground but it was crooked i even tried to use the t-post driver that did not work i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will see you in the next one don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. I upload a ton of cleaning and mom motivation on this channel. I thought it would be fun to kind of get back into DIYing. I have not had time to do that. So we are going to start with a fall front porch sign. I've been wanting one of these forever. Honestly, you guys, I just have a hard time paying like $30, $40, $50 for a piece of wood that's going to sit out in the rain and the snow and probably not make it through a few seasons. So we had a ton of, I think these are two by fours. 
left in the backyard from some concrete forms that we're doing various projects with. My husband um, actually cut it down to I think about six feet and then we had a ton of these little stakes that we were using or not using any longer. So my husband pre-drilled some holes. My son, shout out to my five-year-old, he was holding the camera for me. It was so cute and he did such a good job. <laughs> I just screwed them in the back just kind of like a support. These are extremely heavy. These are not really made like the signs that you purchase in store. My husband did actually find um, some wider fence post panels. So if you are gonna be recreating something like this, the wider fence panels that you would use like in your backyard fencing, they run about $5 a piece and they're pretty lightweight compared to these two by fours. So I would pick one of those up. I don't think you would need to brace the back of it unless you're trying to put a stand together. I looked on the internet, I found so many different signs, I just kind of pulled inspiration from a few of them, and I ended up just creating a pumpkin, a really cute ghost, and then the word boo. I wanted something a little bit whimsical, nothing too spooky or too scary. I have some tiny little guys, they are five and three, and I personally don't like to decorate super scary for Halloween, so I thought it would be something that we can keep out throughout the entire fall season and not just Halloween. So I went ahead and just created these on regular paper. I used a Sharpie from my husband's <laughs> toolbox. You could use a regular marker. I just like to have something that I can paint in the lines. I definitely am not a freehand painting person. <laughs> Today was also one of those days we were just kind of going back and forth between so many different projects back there. We had some landscaping in the front and then my husband was working on the deck. And so this was just something super fun. I miss doing DIYs. I miss being creative. And it was honestly such a blast to do something this fun and not have any sort of parameters. You could kind of just go with whatever we felt like creating. And I loved that I could just use whatever we had on hand. So think outside of the box when you are DIYing. If you find something in the store, I am the type of person that if I find it, I'm definitely going to try to make it myself. <laughs> Even though that may not be everybody's forte, I personally love having a creative outlet and this is one of those. It was really inexpensive and it was just something really fun to do. If you are creating an outdoor sign, you don't need to buy expensive paint. I think this is the Michaels brand. It's equivalent to the Apple Barrel paint at Walmart. I love Dollar Tree. If you're new to my channel, I'm a stay-at-home mom of two, like I've mentioned before. You'll hear me talk about Dollar Tree all the time. The only thing I will say is I do not recommend Dollar Tree's acrylic paint. It's $1.25 now, so $1.25 versus I believe Walmart's Apple Barrel paint is still cheaper. And honestly, the Apple Barrel paint covers so much better than Dollar Tree. You're going to have to use multiple coats. Same with this Michaels paint. This Michaels paint is amazing and it was... I think it's under a dollar. I don't remember the last time I paid for it, but it is fairly inexpensive and it covers really well. I did go ahead and do two coats on here just to make sure that when I do go over it with the, with the wood stain that it was going to protect the wood. This is not wood that is treated. It wasn't pre-treated for anything, so it was definitely something that you need to keep in mind. If you are creating something by wood that is treated to be outside or just pick up a really inexpensive stain that way if you do end up leaving it outside and you get all of the harsh seasons that whatever you're painting on and the wood that you're actually using is going to be protected through that weather and it's not going to rot. was really sweet. These are memories that I love, especially when my sons like to get involved. They were really excited to help mommy paint. So my oldest helped me paint the letters and then my youngest actually helped me paint the ghost you can see here. So it was just really fun. And then whatever wood was left over, I think it was like a four foot section. I just was like, hey, let's make another sign. And you'll see later that my sons helped me draw some spiders. And then we just wrote spooky a really fun project. It's something that I'm always going to remember and I honestly love that there's a little bit of a story behind these signs.
see my sons adding each of their spiders and then we added quite a few more. The stain that I actually used is something that my husband had laying around um, from when we were sealing the joists in the deck. So I would recommend a different type of stain. I was just trying to use what we had on hand. I absolutely adore how this turned out. It's so cute. It gives the porch a little bit of personality. It's simple, but it's not too spooky. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that that encourages you that no matter what your budget is, you can always find a way to make something that you want. If it's on a tight budget or a large budget, I have a ton of videos coming up. I thought this was a great and fun way to kind of start October and this spooky season. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us before we got lost and we parted Welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. It is the start of another week. I'm so excited that the fall weather is here to stay, hopefully. <laughs> my name is Becca. I'm going to go ahead and share an after dark clean with me. I have a quick grocery haul and then we had a really relaxing weekend. So I'm going to do my typical Sunday we set this weekend and then I'll share that with you either on Monday or Tuesday. I have a few exciting videos coming up. So let's just get something done together. Grab something that you need to get done. Set a quick 10 to 15 minute timer, get something clean with me, and let's go ahead and get started. We will carry on then. We do anything for what we started. But this time we could break. I'm running dry, everything's the same. We'll try the night. Oh, this time we're not safe and sound. Not safe and sound. new here and you have not watched any of my previous videos just to take a minute to introduce myself again i'm a stay-at-home mom of two i live in a super small town with my husband and my two little sons they are five and three we do homeschool i absolutely love coffee you'll see my coffee bar back here you guys have never done a coffee bar before so it was super fun to put this together i'll have that up later this week my sons are absolutely loving having some sort of halloween decor out let me know if you decorate for halloween super spooky or do you keep it light and a little bit fun as my kids get older i imagine that we'll get into more of like the spooky decor my husband and i look at the decor all the time at lowe's and home depot and it's super fun <laughs> but our little guys get a little freaked out so i'm gonna go ahead and finish wiping down the counters we do live in a super small town we live in a manufactured mobile home and we are in love with anything diy we actually went to um, lowe's last night and I have a really fun idea for the dining room. I either want to do board and batten or I want to do some sort of like fake ship lab or some sort of wall treatment. I don't know. We were playing around with ideas. I'll insert some pictures here, things that are kind of like pre-made. I don't know if I'll do a wallpaper, but I just have so many ideas. Once we're done with the backyard, we'll start redoing things inside just to make our home a little bit more personal to our taste.
done with the dishes, I'm gonna spray the sink. It's a mixture of a little bit of dish soap, like one or two drops of vinegar and water, and I let this sit in the sink overnight. I'll wipe everything down, and then I wake up and the sink is super sparkling for about five seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that. spot mop under the table again we homeschool so everything is done at this table there's erasers glue googly eyes whatever we do that day and all of the food sometimes I don't want that stuck in the vacuum so I'm gonna quickly wipe that up and then these things I tossed in the freezer as soon as we came home but we picked up some taquitos and then freshetta I like to have the easy meals on hand these are definitely my toddler's favorites right now, so anytime we see them on sale, we will grab the large box. And then we picked up some egg roll wrappers. We were going to try a new recipe with these. We picked up two gallons of milk, a box of Raisin Bran. Absolutely love Raisin Bran. It's one of the best cereals ever. We picked up some orange juice, and then we picked up... We ran out of jelly, so we needed jelly. I typically don't cook with vegetable oil, so we picked up a small one just to have on hand. My husband was trying a recipe and it wasn't in the cabinet so we needed it um butter we go through butter like water chili for a quick lunch and grapefruit half and half i go back and forth between the holiday creamers and sometimes i just want like regular half and half let me know down below if you are stuck on pumpkin or if you've switched it up already to the christmas flavors a few monsters for my husband and I thought this was an interesting flavor. To me, it sounds nasty, but my husband was intrigued to try it. Um, some tart cherry juice is actually really good. I've never tried this before. I'm not a fan of cherries, but my kids like it. Some Cheddar Bay biscuits, something fun to do on the side for dinner. We go through these so quickly. I'm super upset. Costco never carries this flavor. I would love if they did. It would be nice to buy it in bulk. And we picked up some refried beans. I'm always rotating the pantry, so anytime we run out, we like to pick them up when they're on sale. A really large bag of rice, some yogurt for the kids, and then I think we also picked up some donuts. Anytime we do a grocery run, we'll pick up some sort of sweet pastry and bread. The sweet pastry is just so that I can get groceries done and breakfast is ready. I saw a few garage sales in town, so I decided to go ahead and check those out. There were so many beautiful pieces at the garage sale. I found a few pieces of costume jewelry and then I found these angels. My grandma wore angels exactly like this and it just made me a little teary eyed. So I picked them up just thinking that they would be fun to have and something to remember her by. It was a complete set. So I thought that was really sweet. We ended up going to a festival in town. The boys had the best time. There were so many vendors, so many different games. It was really sweet and honestly, it was just a super lazy Saturday, so it was a ton of fun. I'm 
Seeing how creative they were with setting up these games for the little ones i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the floor and that will wrap up today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe if you have not already and i will see you in tomorrow's video Sunday reset. I haven't done one of these videos in a really long time where we like hit everything in the house, bedrooms, bathrooms, kitchen, dusting, floors. I honestly just haven't been able, I don't know what's going on with this. Um, I am a stay-at-home mom of two. My little guys are watching Umizumi. I just got done finishing breakfast. I'm gonna go ahead and make some cinnamon rolls. My husband asked me for those yesterday, but I did not have time to get them proof them and let them like sit in the oven. I don't want to rush it. So I didn't have time to do that yesterday. I'm going to go ahead. You guys, I just don't want to bother with my hair today. We're just going <laughs> to, whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tackle everything. I'm going to do it slowly. Usually I just block out like two or three hours. We don't do homeschool on Fridays. We kind of cram everything in Monday through Thursday so that, so that we can have the weekend with daddy, you know, just Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We all just kind of chill. Gives me a day to film, it gives me a day to clean the house. I'm cleaning anyways, I might as well film it. So I'm gonna make another cup of coffee. I ran out of creamer, which is like is so sad for me, <laughs> but um we'll be okay. I'll pick some up on Sunday or Saturday. I may be able to get a grocery haul in here. I don't know. I'm just gonna kind of throw everything in there. I just redid the boys' bedroom. We just kind of rearranged things and did a deep cleaning. I think you'll either see that on Saturday yeah. or Monday, yeah. depending on when I have time to get it done. I'm gonna go ahead and sit the boys down. They usually just kind of get to play with whatever they wanna do for the day. We'll do some some sort of craft, go outside. So however we break up the day, I kind of just work around the kids and I just get to clean and it's a really chill day. So I'm gonna take my time and get these cinnamon rolls together so that they're ready for my husband in about an hour. And so let's go ahead and get started. Grab something that you need to get done if you have not already and set your timer. I'm going to probably do this in about an hour and a half, two hours, but through the span of the day. So I'll just take you along with me. So 
I found this recipe online. The last time I linked a recipe, for some reason, YouTube flagged it as like spam. It was one of Julia Pacheco's recipes. Absolutely loved it. So I'm just gonna say that the cinnamon roll recipe is absolutely amazing. I literally wrote it down <laughs> in my recipe cards and put it in our recipe box immediately. This is one of the best ones I've ever tried. The dough is so fluffy and oh my goodness, I've never made cinnamon rolls like this before it's from the channel in the kitchen with matt and i think it's just a cinnamon roll recipe if you type in his channel on cinnamon rolls it comes up i was a little bit skeptical i'm extremely impatient i love to bake but i don't have patience for baking <laughs> so it's kind of like a catch-22 baking requires a little bit of patience so i was like you know what we're gonna take our time today and my patience paid off i would definitely recommend this recipe if you are in the market for a new cinnamon roll recipe i think you do have to let it proof like twice so it was one of those all day kind of things i started it early in the morning and then we threw them in the oven when we came home so if you are new here i'm gonna just introduce myself again my name is becca i am a stay-at-home mom of two little boys they are five and three I do homeschool. You guys are going to find a little bit of everything on my channel. I love to bake. Again, I have no patience, but I like to bake. The crock pot is my best friend, and I don't mean that as a joke. It genuinely is because 90% of the meals that I cook will be in the crock pot. I don't care how hot or how cold it is outside. I absolutely love coffee. I will have coffee all the time. I'm the first one to throw laundry in the washer but then I don't fold it so you guys will see there's videos where I don't do laundry or there's videos where I have like five loads and I have a load always in the dryer on top of the dryer and one hiding somewhere in a sofa. I am always quick to jump on a routine and then sometimes just like everybody else things just kind of fall to the wayside so it was really nice to get back in the swing of things just kind of slow down today and make my focus our home I'm going to wrap up these the cinnamon rolls. If you have not already, go ahead and subscribe, grab a cup of coffee, do something with me, put this video on in the background, on your phone, or on your TV. Say hello. I would love it if you introduce yourself. Let me know what you plan on getting tackled today to start off your week or if you have plans to clean later in the week. actually expecting rain the next day and the windows weren't too bad i just wanted to give them a really quick wipe down i do like to clean the inside of the window drags you guys they were pretty grody you're gonna see here in a while um they were just filled with dust and dirt and i know that when it rains i always go around the house the next day to air it out and then i'll wipe out the window tracks again i just figured it would be easy to get most of the dirt out this time so that it's just not a ton of dirty water sitting there and be harder to kind of scrub out our hall tree some of the footage i actually lost but our hall tree was just absolutely like disgusting we have these plastic mats and they work wonderfully they're super easy to clean but it is just one of those things that constantly needs to be cleaned and i will say that i've definitely neglected it for the last week or so and you can tell by how much dirt is just coming up from this mat i definitely need to just take these outside scrub them with a pressure washer and some soap and just let them sit i haven't found a decent replacement i would like to replace the actual plastic we kind of just pieced this together from what my husband uses in his office area because he does work from home so it's just kind of like a hodgepodge under here it's like three different pieces but it functions so in the meantime it'll work until we actually rip out all of this carpet and replace it with a vinyl flooring Don't you need
I decided to finish cleaning the windows in our TV like den room areas. Obviously just so much dust and dirt and those tiny little bugs. I don't know what they're called. They're like spring tills, but when the weather gets like this, we get so many of them that just try to fly into the house. And so they sit. If you have a problem, I know that summer is basically over, but if you have a problem with like little tiny bugs, everybody does. They get through the screens. Honestly, the screen holes are not small enough. <laughs> you can just mix vinegar and Dawn dish soap, but put in essential oil and spray it kind of in the window drag. Leave your windows open if you're sensitive to smells, or you can just use vinegar and Dawn dish soap, and it works like wonders, but I let it dry before I shut the window. Okay, so if you guys are new to my channel, this room has basically been empty for quite some time. And when I say empty, it's just the TV and the sofa. I just recently moved this little chest of drawers in here. I think it's cute. It is a little bit on the shorter side, so it just doesn't work anywhere else in our house. And I would love to have it somewhere where it can be appreciated and style something on top of it right now. It's kind of just a catch-all. We have quite a few shelves we've just had for so long. You kind of just get into the motion of doing your daily routine and sometimes like decor pieces or things that you mean to do just kind of fall to the wayside. So my husband and I pulled these shelves out. We've been kind of hanging them up wherever we feel like they go. I do hang them a little bit higher just because I have little guys and I don't know if our furniture is going to change in a few years. So I like this one in here. It kind of gives this room a little bit more visual interest and I'm excited to start decorating in here. We haven't decorated in this room for a few years. <laughs> it's just kind of been the TV and the sofa, which is fine because I enjoy the empty space, but I want it to feel a little bit more cozy and homey. We do spend a lot of time in here as a family. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this room and then we will move on to the next part of the house. wanted to break up the day a little bit this was i think i started filming this video on thursday or friday i don't remember you guys are gonna see it over like two or three days i wanted to break up the day we live in a really small town but they just opened a ross near us which is a big deal because our town is tiny and it was really nice to hear that there's a new store coming we do have some towns close to us but it's just nice to be able to stay in town sometimes and be in a store that offers a little bit of everything this shelf was so cute i fell in love with this it's not really my style right now but i think it's a beautiful piece so i found some interesting things the store just opened so they were really well stocked and it was super quiet my sons were taking all of these shelves and they're like which one's taller which one's bigger and we were trying to decide which one they liked it was really cute they had a little bit of a Christmas selection, nothing too crazy, but I found a lot of really cute things in here and my husband is so excited, <laughs> not really, um, that Ross is going to be way closer because that means I have another place to shop. So when we 
we got back i threw the cinnamon rolls in the oven they baked really quickly they look a little oddly shaped i think i used a pan i'm supposed to use a 9 by 13 this is definitely not that i don't know but they tasted amazing the only thing i would say is if you do use this recipe again the channel name is in the kitchen with matt it's literally like the first one that popped up when i typed in simple cinnamon roll recipe on youtube um i would recommend maybe trying a different frosting recipe i have yet to find one that i love this one was a little bit watery a little bit loose for my taste but everyone seemed to enjoy it it was more of like a glaze to me so now that we're in the kids bathroom i'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning here I do definitely love to clean with music, so it looks like I'm talking to myself, but <laughs> we're definitely jamming out to music, and yes, those are Christmas towels. Whatever we have that is clean is going to be used. Like I mentioned, we are way behind in laundry. still hanging out with me don't forget to subscribe or give this video a thumbs up i'm gonna go ahead and i think this is day two we are gonna start in mine and my husband's bedroom again my husband does work from home full time so it is oftentimes our room is done last on my cleaning list and it's typically done on the weekends so you guys i can't every time and it's hilarious because i've been I can't remember how long I've been doing YouTube, but for a while. So obviously I've filmed myself many times making my bed. <laughs> and every time I make my bed, I can never ever get the sheet right. And my grandma, you would always say that the tag goes on the bottom right hand corner, which is always true. But at one, I think I find it and then I line up the sheet correctly and then it never works. So am I the only one or is this just like a Rebecca struggle? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make our bed. I had thrown everything in the wash early, early this morning because our comforter takes forever to dry and all of these blankets. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move into our bathroom. Just 
so I'm gonna finish dusting in here. That's the picture that used to sit above our bed. I hung it up with command strips. It didn't stick. It stuck for like a month and then I knew it was possibly gonna come down but I didn't think it was gonna come down so quickly. We've just never gotten around to hanging it up and I feel like it just travels around our room at this point. So maybe one day I'll get that hung up. I think it's been off of the wall for maybe <laughs> I want to say since like last Christmas you guys anyways I threw some bleach in the shower before I made the bed and I felt like the shower just needed like a really good bleach scrub scrub I can't talk it's like 11 o'clock right now um and then you guys are gonna see me kind of standing on the little seating area in the shower looking at the walls my husband noticed that the tape i don't know what it is on the faucet was kind of coming unraveled so he needs to fix that and then i was wiping around the top of the shower insert just because it gets super dusty up there and then it's kind of gross it's really nasty buildup if you just let it sit i try to remember to clean it i don't always remember but then i noticed that it needs to be um recalked there's like when the ceiling meets the wall if you live in a manufactured or a mobile home and then you're kind of familiar that this just happens we actually live in a state where earthquakes happen and we had one earlier this year so the house shifted quite a bit and there are some stress cracks that are a little bit more prevalent that we need to fix so you'll see me kind of like squinting at the ceiling so those will be on my husband's to-do list later this week guys this is probably the end of this video we have had quite the weekend we had kind of a fiasco with the gazebo that we ordered back in april from costco we were so disappointed and so bummed oh my goodness i can't tell you how bummed i was i fell in love with this piece and we ordered it early we did the deck we put the grass down <laughs> and then we opened the box and it was completely the wrong size and mind you we built the deck around the gazebo so we had to pivot. Costco was great. We actually ended up ordering from Wayfair. I love the option that we chose. It'll be better for our weather. All of that to say, we worked on the gazebo this weekend and we have been just kind of busy, but a good busy. So we called it a night. Mommy wasn't cooking dinner and daddy took us out to eat. So we will end the video here. I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a great evening. And if no one's told you, remember that you're doing amazing regardless of what you get done. good morning welcome back to my home my name is becca if you are new here today we're just gonna get it all done we went to costco this morning it's on a sunday and we honestly just picked up so much stuff i had a lot to prep and put away so we picked out bacon we picked up those pretzel bites for game days games are like every day now for football baseball you name it <laughs> we're watching it on one of the tvs in the house we picked up some protein for my husband these pickles a ton of um canned pineapple i personally don't like cutting pineapple and it's just a really nice fruit to have on hand especially for my little guys it's not always in season so now is the time that i do kind of like to stock up on things when i see that they are at a decent price we picked up a ton of tomatoes we eat tomatoes with absolutely everything if you're new to my channel we will haul tomatoes <laughs> basically every trip we go to the grocery store these plum cods were delicious. I'm pretty sure this is the last time that we'll see them at our particular Costco. We picked up bagels this time. Fig bars. My sons eat those practically every morning. You guys, this is the first time we've ever purchased a pumpkin pie from Costco. And for $8, I will never make another pumpkin pie. <laughs> you can literally feed like 20 people. It's massive. It's delicious. And the, it's just like there's no effort on all of the things that we cook during the holidays this is one less thing I can check off my list we picked up a ton of fruit I think peaches watermelon 
all of the berries these potatoes i've been cooking with these all week and they literally are some of the best potatoes i've had in a really long time so it was just nice to make several recipes with potatoes kind of ringing in fall i've made soup so far we had a really great breakfast for dinner we picked up olives some don power wash those olives those go pretty quickly <laughs> one of my sons just absolutely loves olives especially for pasta night tortillas i will typically throw half of everything that we get from costco either in the back of the pantry or in the freezer like those tortillas half of the bread packages of course mommy needed coffee so i picked up the holiday blend i was not disappointed i'm gonna go ahead and start putting all of this away So tired of hearing all your stories About the drunk guides bragging in the glory You're such a nice guy when you're not just talking about yourself And the way of how you dwell, I get it Oh, I'm so tired of hearing all your stories About your rich friends traveling in Mercedes You're such a nice guy when you're not So while I'm putting everything away, I had actually forgotten I started a load of laundry, the kids bedding prior to leaving to Costco and I just wanted to get it switched over that way by the time I was done in the kitchen I could throw all of their stuff on their beds and just kind of start off the actual house reset and get out of the kitchen if you are new to my channel i want to take a moment to introduce myself again my name is becca i am a full-time stay-at-home mom i have two little boys they are five and three my family and i we do live in a double wide manufactured home in a small town you guys with this fall weather rolling in the rain and the change of leaves we have all of the trees in the backyard so just being able to watch fall really just change over the last few weeks i'm so excited and i feel like with the cooler weather coming it just makes me want to be a little bit more crafty and diy i absolutely love to diy you'll hear me talk about dollar tree just all things motherhood if any of that interests you don't forget to say hello down below and don't forget to subscribe it's absolutely free and you'll just be notified every time i upload a video if you push that little notification bell I'm going to go ahead and wrap up in the kitchen here. Typically, when we do a Costco run, I totally just drop something on the floor. <laughs> when we do a Costco run, I try to take inventory of the pantry. It doesn't always look like this. I don't always have time. Sometimes I just throw things in the cabinet and hope for the best. But this day, I wanted to see what we had, if things were expiring or different things that we need. We like to typically shop at different grocery stores. So I'm going to wrap that up and then I will move into kind of just spot mopping the floors and the kids' bathroom. Okay, 
so I quickly wiped on the outside of the fridge. The fridge is so bright. Everything just kind of stands out. It does not pick up on camera, but it gets really grimy during the week. And I was not in the mood to take absolutely everything out, including the shelves. So we're going to save that for another day. Do a super quick wipe down inside the fridge so that everything I put in here, it's not just sitting on top of crumbs and just all kinds of sludge that sits on the bottom of these shelves. I'm going to do that. Again, take anything out that needs to be tossed or something that needs to be eaten that day. Sundays, typically, we kind of just have a hodgepodge for lunch or for dinner if there are a ton of leftovers that need to get eaten up or if something has just been kind of sitting in the back of the fridge for a few days, it just needs to go. So I'm going to do that and then throw all of the fruit and veggies in here. I have noticed I used to wash all of like the apples and the tomatoes and do all of that the day that I brought everything home and I feel like sometimes the produce just goes bad so I do wash all of the berries immediately because they have to sit in baking soda or vinegar or whatever I have on hand or feel like using but when it comes to apples and tomatoes and oranges all of those things I do rinse on a per case basis so whenever I'm going to use them I'll just rinse them that way and I find that the produce tends to last a lot longer so I'm going to go ahead and take everything that's at the bottom put it in the bowl on the counter so that we know those need to get eaten first and then I opened a bag of apples you guys and I was so disappointed <laughs> I've never had a bag of apples like this before apples that we had picked up were actually just super yucky and so half of those ended up going into the trash they were actually ones that i would have normally made into applesauce but they were just so completely gone i'm gonna finish putting all this away and then we'll move on i wish i could make you stay because baby i love you why are you trying to break us up when i'm trying to build it up i wish i could make you stop because baby i love you Typically after a day like this where I'm in the kitchen for at least an hour, hour and a half, just kind of getting everything done and then we always get pizza or hot dogs, whatever from Costco for lunch. It's just kind of like a two hour ordeal. The floors are absolutely trashed so I'm going to go ahead and do a super quick sweep and then do a spot mop with just some really hot soapy water. Using the Dawn Power Wash it works wonders. Or sometimes I'll just do super hot water and vinegar and it seems to work really well on the floors.
to keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up and hit the road I just got an awesome vibe Striking the wind of hopes now Liberty's on my mind We've taken off, we've left the ground You You gotta understand That we get one chance, one chance You Notice that there was some sticky residue kind of around the fridge leading as like a trail to the trash. I don't know what I spilled, but it was definitely something. I just did a super quick mop with the Clorox wipes and then I was going to go ahead and mop the entire floor. And then I decided to wipe down the trash can because that was grody as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I will begin the floor mop. Let me know your favorite way to mop down below. Do you use a steam mop? Do you like using a mop and a vacuum? One of those, um, I forget what they're called. They're like wet vacuums. I had one. I did a collab with an amazing company and it was such a great piece. But honestly, our home is not that large as far as the flooring, like hard, any sort of hard surface flooring. We have quite a bit of carpet in basically half of our house we live in a double wide so basically all of the bedrooms the living room the family room that's all carpet except for our kitchen dining room and the hallway and then the bathrooms so i just found that we didn't have enough space to constantly use it i ended up giving it to my parents their entire home is hardwood and it's basically double the size of our house so it works out great for them but I, you guys, I always default to hand mopping. I found a steam mop finally. I'm waiting for this to come in the mail and I'm so intrigued to see how well this works on the floors. So let me know what your favorite type of mop is or if you like to hand mop, I would love to know. husband and I always joke every time we go to Costco we're picking up this power wash. I literally use this everywhere in the house and when it's down to the very last part of the bottle I'll put water in it and then I'll still use that just to scrub the boys tub. I don't like to use really harsh chemicals in the tub or the shower especially because I have little ones and they sit in the tub. They like to play in the bath water so if I can avoid it at all, I will definitely default to cleaning the tub with something that's not as harsh on their skin. If there is any sort of residue, which I try to completely rinse out the tub, I just, I don't know. I used to use the scrubbing bubbles. Absolutely love that product. The one I think it has like oranges on it. Smells amazing. It works great, but I just found that having little guys i'm trying not to use as many harsh chemicals especially in something that they sit in the water is like standing water when you take a bath so i'm gonna scrub down the tub and then i will do a quick kind of spruce up in their sink area
beautiful day it was actually pretty early i think we got home from costco like around 11 we like to go as soon as they open because i feel like it's just less stressful especially if i know that we are loading up the car and i also want to window shop and look at everything else that they have out i was feeding my husband these blackberries because they were so good we ended up going to kohl's so i think that's going to be it for today's video i really hope that this gave you guys some motivation gentle motivation to tackle something in your home it doesn't have to be everything get what you can done to make sure that your week starts off productive or your weekend tailor your schedule to you if no one has told you today know that you are amazing and i hope that i will see you guys in the next video again don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next one hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is becca today we are going to tackle the kitchen a little bit it's going to be a super simple clean nothing too crazy i say that a lot but honestly it just was one of those days it was gloomy we were all in sweaters, I ran errands, we ran into Target for just a few things, and then I decided that we were just gonna eat some tomato soup for lunch. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep that. I did pick up the Annie's, we call them bunnies, the little bunnies for my sons, I absolutely love those. And I picked up the largest can of tomato soup. We had soup for like two days, and it was kind of fun. So I'm gonna prep that, and then we'll just kind of tackle a few things around the kitchen. If you are new here, I just want to take a minute to introduce myself. I am a full-time stay-at-home mom. I have two kiddos. I have two little boys. They are five and three. The next time I make these biscuits, I don't think I'll use this sauce. It was so salty. I think maybe it was just the combo of the Campbell's tomato soup, but that's like a kid memory for me and my husband. So anyways, we live in a small town in a manufactured mobile home. We are in the process of just kind of trying to make our house feel like home with that includes being inside and outside so we have a lot of things coming up a lot of things going on this year then we're going to take a break for the holidays and then we will start a, quite a few <laughs> projects that we have kind of lined up for this year inside so I'm super excited about that if you're looking for any sort of homemaking motivation motherhood just a chatty friend to hang out with <laughs> while you are cleaning I am definitely your girl go ahead and hit the subscribe button I would love it if you stick around for a while let's just get into cleaning up these dishes Tonight was definitely one of those nights we had a whatever dinner. That's what my mom used to call it growing up. It is whatever is in the fridge is fair game. We are cleaning out the fridge as a team. <laughs> and so I will kind of just let my kids pick and choose or I'll throw something in the air fryer. And then my husband and I will basically just eat 
a lot of the sides that we have left over sometimes we'll just graze like that like it's thanksgiving and just kind of make sure that we're not wasting food because a lot of times everybody knows if you leave all the leftovers in your fridge the next night they get pushed to the back and it just keeps going and then you forget that you have leftovers from four days ago and they end up going in the trash so i'm gonna go ahead and scrub down the stove the stove was pretty gross it wasn't too bad but i noticed that there was a little bit of buildup going sort of down the side of the stove and then I wanted to vacuum out behind the stove. I don't do this regularly but when I do remember I definitely have to tackle it then. If I don't do it then I'm one of those people that out of sight out of mind I will completely forget and then it's four months later and it's not been done. So I will go ahead and do that. Tackle something with me and don't forget to subscribe. No, I'm not the same. Everything has this video was a little bit quicker than the ones I've been uploading lately. I hope that it was a little bit of just a gentle push or gentle encouragement to motivate you to tackle something in your home. Today, literally the only thing I touched was this kitchen area and altogether it was maybe like 30 or 40 minutes. So don't beat yourself up. Give yourself grace. If that's all you can handle is the dishes today, guess what? You mark something off your checklist. Thank you for allowing me into your home today, spending any portion of your day with me and hanging out. I always feel like when I'm filming, it's just kind of fun to get on here and talk to you guys. I really feel like I'm hanging out with some of you. So if you are new, thank you for stopping by. I hope this isn't the last time. And if you are returning, I appreciate you more than you know. today we are going to be finally doing my coffee bar i want to decorate it for halloween and then phase it into christmas i cannot wait i'm going to include a bit of photo like a makeover on this this is also doubling as our homeschool cabinet so i think it'll be fun to have everything in that little corner because i drink coffee all day long it'll be fun to kind of have it out of the kitchen i don't want it on the island anymore come christmas time the island is <laughs> literally covered and lights and I have new village pieces so this this island is just gonna be for decoration basically and my coffee machine is always um, in the way we have like that two-tiered island and I honestly don't know how to decorate like the lip of the island that we basically just don't use it's gonna be fun to have a little coffee station as you can tell I'm extremely excited and I will include some footage of a few DIYs some little shelves that I put together to hold my little K-cups. They sit underneath the sink or underneath the counter and it's functional, but I think it would be cute to have a place to put some decor for the season. And then just honestly, it's easy grab and go. I can actually put my drip brew and my K-cup machine out. So whatever day I'm feeling, I don't have to throw the machine under the couch. <laughs> um, here's my husband you guys i get so shy even filming in front of my husband i can't even do it anyways so i'm gonna go ahead and okay so if you are new to my channel this cabinet was kind of just hiding in mine in my husband's closet we've had it forever i think we purchased this from ikea i'm pretty sure that's where it came from it's amazing honestly it's so much storage it looks smaller than it actually is i still have stuff we've been using this for like a month and i have stuff in there that i'm like i forgot was back here it's a super dark like brown espresso if you've never seen any of my other videos then you may not know all of the furniture in our home is this dark deep rich brown rich i love but this is not real wood so I'm toying around with the idea of painting a few pieces in our house and I figured this would be the guinea pig and my husband was like I don't know how that's gonna work out because it's laminate it's not real wood. <laughs> I'm using some leftover bare chalk paint that I actually used on our table makeover a few months ago holding up amazingly so I was like you know what let's just try it. If we hate it we're gonna spray paint it a different color and it'll just be like a super fun accent piece or I can hide it in the closet. <laughs> and no one will ever know nobody will see it so here it is it's functioned for everything at some point we use this as like for um, shoe storage and it just turned into an empty i honestly don't even know what we were using this for in the closet so anyways it's our homeschool cabinet it sits out here in the dining room we do homeschool at the table and on the floor 
whatever, wherever, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the first coat on here. I've noticed with the chalk paint, you just kind of have to slap it on and that sounds ridiculous, but the thicker you make the first coat, it's honestly a little bit easier from what I've seen or what I've done. <laughs> and this is only the second piece that I've used it on, but it honestly is just so forgiving. And I want this piece to kind of age itself. I didn't want to antique it. I kind of wanted to see how it distresses over time. So I wasn't completely concerned with covering every brown speck of the laminated wood. I like pieces that show a little bit of age and a little bit of character. And I thought it would be nice to brighten up everything. Our table is now like super starch white. <laughs> and this piece just kind of didn't flow in the dining room. I want the dining room to be a little bit separate from everything in our home so it's just going to be fun to have a piece that matches the table and it's going to be nice to just have like my little mommy corner in the morning when the boys are doing school. I'm going to go ahead and do I think I did two coats on here and then we'll go ahead and put a clear coat on top just to seal it. So here I am applying the second coat and you can tell by the second coat, I think on the table I did three coats. I don't remember. I'll have to rewatch the video, but by the second or third coat, it definitely looks way better. Putting it on the first coat, I was like, oh my gosh, Rebecca, what are you doing? You just ruined this piece. And I almost just gave up and went and bought spray paint. Spray paint covers amazingly and it's honestly easier. But by the second coat, I was like, nope, I'm going to love this. So Take your time, let the first coat dry, give it a lot of time to dry. Make sure it's not tacky because then you're going to end up just rubbing it on and then rubbing off. It's going to be horrible. So allow it to dry, have some patience as with any painting. I picked this up at Lowe's. I didn't want to do polycrylic. Again, I kind of want this piece to age itself a little bit and I'm not a hundred percent on this super starch white. I may want to go in with like a glaze later. I don't know. I wanted something that was not as permanent so I made this glossy layer a little bit light. I wasn't looking for anything perfect. Sprayed that on. Let it air dry outside as long as you can. I brought this piece in a little bit early and it just smelled so bad. So we ended up taking it back outside after I put the hardware on. Here's how it turned out. I absolutely love how bright and airy this is. I like that it kind of coexists with our table. It's not just this dark piece and a dark corner. Honestly, this corner has kind of always been a an area that I didn't really know what to do with. Our high chair sits over there. Our kids are outgrowing the high chair. So it's just nice to have an area that is functional with homeschool, but it's actually going to be a place that I can decorate and I can have my coffee in the morning while we do school. If you are new here, I'm going to take a minute just to introduce myself. Again, my name is Becca. I'm a full-time stay-at-home mom of two. I have two little boys. They are five and three. And I love, love, love to craft. I don't always have time to craft or DIY. 
you guys will hear me talk about Dollar Tree and are probably tired of it, but I have such a passion for doing things on a small budget. It just is so much fun for me to go into Dollar Tree and figure out what can I make? What can I DIY myself? I like the process of seeing something and then trying to recreate it. It's definitely one of those creative like therapeutic outlets for me. So you'll find a little bit of everything on my channel. I mainly upload a ton of cleaning content, but you'll find hauls from Dollar Tree. You'll find homeschool hauls. I honestly will just throw anything at the wall. You may find it all in one video or you may find it in separate videos. We live in a really small town in a manufactured mobile home. We're doing a pretty big overhaul in the backyard but lately I think I've given my husband like four new projects and small projects but things that we can do inside we've kind of focused a lot of effort in our backyard so it'll be fun next year to kind of switch gears and focus on making our home feel more like us. So here I'm just creating two small, um, I don't know if you'd call them shelves or tiered trays. I wanted something to hold my K-cups. I didn't want one of those spinny ones. I don't know what they're called. They're large and I feel like it would just take up too much space. So I was like, I have, I keep a stash of craft items <laughs> on hand. I picked these up about a month ago. I just didn't know what to do with them. So you'll see that I took... I think it's a Dollar Tree hanging shelf. I took those two shelves and then these two little crates. I don't know what they're called, but Dollar Tree has these all the time and in different variations. I just hot glued those together. I'm a super temporary DIYer. A lot of people use E6000 wood glue. I will 100% use hot glue because I like to take things apart after a few months if I don't like it or I want to repurpose it. I want the option for it not to be permanent. I have a hard time sticking to decisions <laughs> and I'm using the Michaels craft paint. It's similar to Dollar Tree acrylic paint or the Apple Barrel paint from Walmart. Use what's in your budget. The Dollar Tree one, I will say, is on the pricier side. If you're looking for an acrylic paint, I would definitely suggest a different brand other than Dollar Tree. It tends to be a little bit watery, but use what's available to you in your budget. Let me know when you craft. Do you like to watch videos? Do you listen to music? Do you watch a show? I 100% will binge YouTube. I always craft at the counter. I feel like I use our kitchen island for everything, but I love to watch videos. I think today I was watching videos that... Um, everybody was doing Christmas hauls and I was like wow already but it just feels like it is already around the corner. I then went ahead and decided that I was going to paint these little stacking blocks. I'm going to use those as legs for these risers. I think it just looks cute. I like that they have a little bit of width to them and it's not just sitting flat on another surface. I found these two. Um, they're kind of like wood signs. Basically just pieces of wood that they put their um, almost like fake shiplap contact paper on. I want it does have a fake wood grain look so I thought it would just be nice to have everything one color that way whatever I decide to put on here throughout the seasons will pop and again it's super temporary a little bit of paint I can change this back to whatever color I want for the season. I was completely covered in paint. I found this little pumpkin that I bought. I think I purchased this this year and I was not a fan of the color. I think I got it at Dollar Tree. It has a P on it for a last name and it just didn't match anything. And I was like, you know what? We're decorating for Halloween. So I decided to paint it black. Again, it has fake wood grain underneath. So it just looked kind of old and spooky. I used a chalk marker. I don't know if it was a chalk marker or one of their... Um, white i forget what they're called but i think i showed you guys metallic marker it has a finer tip so if you're doing something like that it works a lot better i love keeping those on hand i glued these little wooden dice or wooden cubes to the bottom of one of these super cute you could totally use this next to a sink or just as a little riser by itself but i wanted a mini tiered tray i didn't want anything that was going to take up a ton of space on the coffee bar we are working with a smaller space so here's how everything turned out they were super fun to create they were extremely inexpensive compared to how much i would have paid for these in a store especially seeing that they're so small so i'm super excited to have these to be able to decorate I did go ahead and leave the pumpkin on this one just to make sure that it's set. If you are doing one like this, I would suggest maybe using E6000 if you're going to put something heavy on it. 
let's finally get into decorating this was over the course of i think three or four days so i'm gonna go ahead and just put this little runner down because i am putting a coffee machine up here and i know that i'm pretty clumsy when it comes to making coffee in the morning so i want to minimize any sort of spills and just make sure that it's going to be easy cleanup for me Everything that I'm using in the coffee bar area are pieces that I've had from last year or pieces that I picked up this year and I just didn't use around the house. These are so cute. I fell in love with these when I picked these up at Dollar Tree this year so I had to use one of these in the coffee bar area. I always buy themed, um, they're not twinkle lights but they're the little tiny lights with like pumpkins. They do them for St. Patrick's Day. They do hearts for Valentine's Day. You name it. These gnomes came from there as well. I will say probably like 65% of this decor comes from Dollar Tree. So I swapped out the floral at the bottom. It just did not match and I liked the pop of white at the bottom. It just made everything feel a little bit brighter with all of the dark trays that I had. This is a little pumpkin I had on a wreath and I took that fall wreath apart this year and it just got obliterated on our door last year from all of the rain. So I never got around to making another one. So the cobwebs oh my goodness i've never decorated with cobwebs before and you guys it is definitely a new adventure it gets everywhere but my sons are loving it so i'm gonna go ahead and fill up this little cart or stand whatever you want to call it with the k-cups it's just gonna be so nice to have this out and ready to go pretty happy with how everything turned out i ended up taking that pumpkin from target off of there it was a little too heavy and my little boys run around the table all day long <laughs> i didn't want anything falling and shattering it just worries me with little toes running around so i made a super quick garland i picked up these leaves a few weeks ago and i never did anything with them but i liked how they looked and it's fun to craft with things like that especially since we homeschool so if i see something i definitely pick it up I just hot glued the leaves to a piece of jute twine and I scotch taped that to the wall. Again, it's temporary. I'm sure I'll change this out for Christmas. And then I picked up this wreath recently at Dollar General. I think it was like $2. It was super inexpensive. Put a thumbtack in the wall and called that a day. These bows I took off of my cabinets. I had these with some signs hanging up, but kind of wanted to just refresh the kitchen take everything down and they looked super cute over here so on this sign added a little spider and i felt like the little corner in the back was missing something so oh of course a happy pumpkin spice season that was so cute i had some candles and candlesticks i had two sets left over and i could not get them to stand up they were kind of driving me nuts. My mom, when I was little, would put plastic at the bottom, usually the plastic that they came in. I tried that. I tried the spider web, the cobweb, and nothing worked. Eventually, I got them to stand up, but here's how everything turned out. I absolutely adore this area. Again, it's just a really sweet space. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you made it this far, let me know down below what your favorite fall drink is. I have tried so many new drinks and I honestly can't make up my mind. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not. Say hello down below and I will see you guys in the next video.